if you're looking for safe and reliable account grinds, make sure you hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore three on Twitter. Hey, what's good, y'all? We back with another video for you guys. Season five is upon us. We have some new cards to go over, some new hype for 2K, my team. And let's jump right into this video, one of a couple that I'm going to be making today. This one is going to be talking about some undervalued cards that you should be looking at as Dark Matter start to come into the game, Galaxy Opals and Pink Diamonds are going to start dropping in value. So we're gonna be talking about some of the cards that I added and some cards I think that'll be good as a staple for anybody's team. So you can see we added Kane Cunningham today, Scotty Pippen, we got Evan Mobley. Those were just picked up today along with Sidney Moncrief. And um, we also have the, our Josh Smith upgraded to Pink Diamond. Now, how did we do that? The first tip I'm gonna give you guys for undervalued cards is look at duos. And right now this Joe Johnson and Josh Smith duo is amazing. Joe Johnson gets incredible upgrades he gets hyperdrive, chef. He gets uh, he already has quick first step. He gets um, circus three zone hall of fame. Josh Smith three point boost goes up, and they just become even more elite than they already are. Now Joe Johnson still does have a little bit of a stamina issue. We're not gonna talk about that. So we're gonna go over to the auction house, and I'm gonna talk about some of the cards that are a little bit undervalued in my opinion. With the first one being Joe Johnson, we're gonna look at that one. Um, I wish they would just let us look at the signed version first, but usually that does not happen. So go over to Joe Johnson. And he is about, actually, let's do it this way. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to my collection. We're gonna go to premium. Head over to my boy Joe Johnson right here and search for him in the auction house. So if you can see this card right now, for if you bid on him, you can get him for probably less than 15K out of these right here that are bidding but he's not gonna have the extra Hall of Fame badges. I got mine with five extra Hall of Fame badges for 49K. That is 50K MT spent on a card that now has a duo. Now this price is probably gonna go up as more videos start to come out. As you can see, there's one with 18 Hall of Fames right there. And he is with some of the best cards in the game as far as offense, he does a very good job out there. He also has good interior defense. He has good block. His stamina is low, so that makes him a little bit difficult. My air fryer is going up. Sorry for that beeping in the background of the video. But when you get the Josh Smith upgrade with that, he gets even better. So that's one of the first undervalued cards I would look at. Along with Josh Smith, you can pick him up. Make sure you guys head over to 2KDB if you do want to see what the upgrade does as far as um, my computer's not working for that website. The website's not loading, so I wasn't able to put it in the video. But check that card out. Let's move on to the second card. I think you guys should be looking to get today if you can while the price is low, man. This card is very, very good, always. And he has upgraded his shot timing to quick. He also has good dribble style. This card is gonna be great. And you already know Scottie Pippen is one of the best defenders ever in the NBA. So his defensive bats are gonna be crazy. I got mine for 71K earlier. He's probably going up a little bit, but as you can see right here on the screen, 74K to get a Galaxy Opal. Just two weeks ago, Galaxy Opals were going for over 150, 200K. Do not let these prices fool you. You guys need to be going to pick up these cards when the prices are like this, because if the prices do go back up, you're gonna miss out. And I do not think Scottie Pippen's price is gonna go back up just because one, it's Scottie Pippen. Two, we have Dark Matters in the game now. And there's more cards to look for. Like you have more shooting guards in the game. But if you're looking comparing him to Kawhi, let's go ahead and look at that Dark Matter Kawhi Leonard. Now this is the same position card that you'll be able to get. Small forward, pop, small forward shooting guard. Kawhi's going for 536K. Now look at the stats. 6'8 versus 6'7, 95 offense versus 99, 99 defense versus 99. Look at the stats right here. 96 three-point shot to 92. Not a huge difference in game, especially with a coach. 90 dunk to 90 dunk. 86 ball handle to 86 ball handle. Scotty's a better um passer. Block, um, Kawhi does have him with a 92, but Scotty's at 80. He's gonna get blocked. Steal, 97, 98, 88 interior defense. Rebounding is around the same. Kawhi's a little bit better, but remember, he is a dark matter, so he's gonna be a little bit boosted. Speed is around the same. Strength, Kawhi does beat him out with like a plus 10. Going over to the badges, Pippen comes with 17. Only five extra badges, you're gonna pay 500 extra K or 500K extra for the card. Defensively, they're around the same. The only thing that uh, Kawhi really does do better is shoot with blinders, circus threes, limitless spot up. Those, and, and that I can't lie about that. 
those are the only badges that really make a difference with this Kawhi. So are you going to go out and spend 600K, 400K on Kawhi? Where you can get Scottie Pippen, who if you're doing any kind of stand and shooting, defense to offense kind of player, they're going to be around the same, man. In game, they're going to be the same. Make sure you guys are not getting fooled by these prices. It's good to have some of the new cards, but sometimes you got to make sure you're getting the value out of the cards. Now, let's move on to another one that I think is very important to grab while he's low, and that is going to be Evan Mobley. Galaxy Opal Evan Mobley. Look what his price is going down to from the All-Star Collection. If you watch any competitive streamer, you know that he's one of the staples of teams at the power forward position because he can rebound. He's seven foot. He's fast. He has limitless spot up. One of the best power forwards in the game you can get for under 100K right now. Go pick him up if you can. I just got one with 18 Hall of Fame badges for 84K. No, 88K. So if you look at Evan Mobley, this guy's pretty amazing, man. Seven foot, 91 three-point shot with a shoot. 80 driving dunk, 88 standing dunk. He also has Hall of Fame rise up. 98 block, 92 interior defense, 89 perimeter. There's literally nothing he can't do, and he is fast. Why is this card going for under 100K? Because there's more dark matters out in the game. Again, don't let that fool you, man. We got to pick up these cards while they're cheap. Let's move on to another one. And this is going to be a couple that are in the pink diamond tier, but I want you to be looking for extra badges. So <clears throat> we're going to go to pink diamond Andre Karolinko, one of the best small four power forwards in the game still. Super, super cheap. Do not get a base version, though. You're going to be looking for a version that has... 15, you know, 16 Hall of Fame badges and add a buyout. And make sure the Hall of Fame badges are going to help you out in game. So right here, one for 16 Hall of Fame badges. A little high at um, 100K, but he does have Hall of Fame quick first step, which is actually pretty nice. And some other Hall of Fame badges on him. Now, when you're looking at AK, you really want to get the value work. Don't go spending 100K on a card that doesn't have some soup up badges. He has to have some extra soup badges for you to do that. Um, quick first step is definitely going to be one of those, but he needs some extra shooting badges in order for you to be spending 100k. Otherwise, just spend the 50, 60k or something like that and get something with 14 good badges, and you have still one of the best cards in the game for very cheap. There's not much better you can get than AK besides badges. So if you can find one with extra badges, why not grab him instead of grabbing someone else? Unless you really love shifty dribble style, which he doesn't have, that's going to come into play. 88 three point shot, you can get up to a 92. He is great on defense. What card can you get in the game that has better defense than this? There's not many at all. So why are we going to get the cards that cost 600K MT? It's literally only for badges. So if you can find one with extra badges in the auction house, grab him up. Let's move on to the next one, man. We're gonna go be checking out LaMelo Ball, man. He's actually one of my favorite point guards in the game. If you can find Pink Diamond LaMelo Ball, I'm actually selling mine right now with 20 Hall of Fame badges for 100K. This card is amazing. Let's check him out compared to Kay Cunningham. 6'8", 6'6". 92 three-point shot with a shoe. Kay comes with a 93. Driving dunk is around the same. Ball handles around the same. Block and steal a perimeter defense with a shoe is going to be pretty much the same. Um, if we go to athleticism with the vertical strength, Kay does beat him out in strength and he does beat him out a little bit in speed. But as you can see, LaMelo Ball costs way less. And you can find one with, with 19 badges just like Cade has right here on him. LaMelo also has Hall of Fame Interceptor, which really soups him up on defense. If you get this card, you're spending less than 100K because this didn't even sell. So now you're getting a point guard that's 6'6", big just like Cade is, but can get the job done. Now, the only difference is Cade does have shifty dribble style, so you want to make sure you're getting the card that's worth it for you. But make sure you're looking at the badges, what fits your place down. Look at what you're able to spend versus what's already out, and that's going really high in the auction house right now. 32K, if you want to get the base version, I would not recommend. I definitely recommend getting something with some extra badges, but that's just my take on it. All right, let's keep going with this, and I think we still have some other cards that we can look forward to uh, getting right now. Let's go to, you know, let's stick with the name Mellow right now. Let's go to Carmelo this time, Carmelo Anthony. And we're going to be looking to see why this card is going for pretty much less than 50K. Less than 50K. And I know why. It's because he does not have Hall of Fame defensive badges. But if you're looking for one of the best offensive cards in the game, he does not have shifty dribble style as well. But if you don't need that, 95 three-point shot, 90 driving dunk, 95 ball handle. Look at his defense. Solid all around. Put a shoe on him with a coach. He's going to be fine. Rebounding great. Speed great. The only thing that he is lacking 
is his defensive badges, no Hall of Fames. He does have many Hall of Fame shooting badges, which does turn him up on the offensive end. So if you look for a cheaper offensive option, that small forward, Galaxy Opal, Carmelo Anthony is your man. Very undervalued. Now, this is not a budget card series. This is an undervalued series. Way different. I'm giving you undervalued cards that are going to make a big difference on your team. And let's go and look at one more. Let's see who I have. See if I got anybody else I would recommend. Not in my team. Oh, well, poor Zingas. Chris Das Porzingis, if you don't know by now, is probably one of the best center power forwards in the game that you can put on. Actually, he's only center. One of the best in the games that you can have on your team. Um, Chris Stapps, super cheap. Again, you want to find one with extra Hall of Fame badges, but you can badge him up yourself too. He plays pretty good out of the box. You're going to put a couple different things on him that's going to help him a little bit. But as a, as a pick and pop shooter that can defend the wing can defend the interior and can get rebounds. He's one of the best in the game to do so at a very, very, very low price. So make sure if you're looking for a center that can do those things, you're picking him up. Last one I'm gonna give you guys is an exchange for Sydney Moncrief. Now you, I don't even, I don't even remember the exchange requirements, but Sydney Moncrief is very similar to the Dark Matter Gary Payton that you can get from the collector level. If you, I think you have to do like five diamond cards Four amethyst, ten amethyst from the Bucks, and then something like it's very cheap to get this card. And you look at his stats: 84 three-point shot, but his shot is on quick. He does have shifty dribble style, ball handle 86. Defense is amazing, like very similar to the Dark Matter Gary Payton. Speed is amazing. Strength can be boosted a little bit, but he's overall a defensive-minded player like Gary Payton was. Hall of Fame ankle breaker, pickpocket. Um, Pick Dodger, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator. This guy is souped. Quick first step. One of the best exchange cards that we've gotten in a while, and you don't even have to spend any MT on this guy. So that's one of, that's some of the cards that I think are undervalued. I can continue this series. I think this is very important for people to understand, not to always go after the super expensive cards. What's undervalued and still competitive? This team right here can win tournaments. You can qualify for 250K. There's a lot of things you can do with this team, even though qualifiers is already over. You want to enter play on some tournaments and stuff like that? This is a team that can do that, man, and it's super cheap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. We're going to have some more stuff filmed today. But until next time, peace.